If you're struggling to get results from social media, maybe it's because of a lack of planning. In this video, I'm going to talk about some steps you can take to create an effective social media plan. G'day, Ben Futrell here from Max My Profit, and we're all about helping you build the business that you imagined. Now, one of the things that many people imagine is that social media will deliver more customers and sales than it currently does, and it can do, but unfortunately, too many people don't put the plan together to be able to execute effectively and be able to get the results that they want from social media. So today I'm going to talk about how to go through and structure a social media plan that will deliver results to achieve your goals. Now, on that note, um, the first thing to do before you even start tackling in this is to make a list of all your current social media accounts and any planned accounts. And the reason why that's important, because when you start down the social media route, it's easy to get distracted by the latest social media tool or by the latest, you know, uh, idea or, or thing that pops up. And, you know, we only got to look at what happened in the last sort of 18 months. Uh, TikTok was the second most downloaded app next to Zoom. Zoom, no surprise, was one of the most downloaded. Uh, but TikTok is a new platform. So many people downloading it yet i'm not sure how many people are actually effectively using it as a marketing strategy and i always say you know make a list of what you've currently got set up get good at those first uh, before you bother trying to add new accounts in because once you've got a bit of a system and a process and even it's almost like developing a habit uh, for, for doing your social media marketing it's easier then to add other uh, accounts and platforms onto your social media marketing plan. So just make a list of them now. And that way, as you go down the journey over the next, say, 90 days, six months, whatever it might be, where you're implementing this plan, you won't get distracted by the new things that are coming out. So the first step then after that is to then outline what your social media goals are and make them smart and write them down for each account. So for example, for one account, maybe what you want to do is increase your engagement or increase your number of likes or followers. Uh, maybe you want to generate you know, a number of leads per month from each from a particular platform or each platform. And what, what I like to do is, is make sure the goals are SMART goals. Now, the acronym SMART is nothing new, but you may not have heard of it. So I'll share with you what the word SMART actually stands for. S is specific. So rather than saying, I'm going to grow my YouTube channel, be specific about how many subscribers you're going to grow up by, how many views or how many videos you're going to grow up by. Uh, you know, if you want it to be measurable, so M is for measurable. So how are you going to measure the progress of you achieving this goal? A is it's got to be achievable. So it's no good setting goals that are unlikely to be achieved. Uh, like I'm going to get a million subscribers in the next month or something crazy. R is for it's got to be realistic. So that sort of ties in with that one. And it's also got to be re results oriented. Okay, so the R stands for realistic and results oriented. Every goal needs to be tied into a result. And then T is it's got to be time framed. So an example would be a smart goal. So it's specific. I'm going to increase my number of subscribers by 20% measurable absolutely it's a number subscribers is a number that i can measure is it achievable could be achievable definitely is it realistic yes is it results oriented yes and then i have to make it time frame. i'm going to do it by 20 percent in the next 90 days okay now i put a timeline on it right so that's a smart goal so make sure you set a smart goal for each platform look at each of those things you've listed out on that list you just made and next to it, just write down at least one thing, just one thing that you're going to achieve in the next 90 days. And that'll help you get your, uh, your plan together. Once you've done that, you can then select your strategy. So if your strategy was to get more subscribers, then you can sort of write down how you think you might do that. Maybe you're going to do joint venture videos or collaborations. Maybe you're going to do an email blast out to your database. Maybe you're going to have something in store that you prompts customers to, to like your video, your, your page or you you know you subscribe to your YouTube channel or you know add themselves to Instagram, whatever it might be, right? So you can decide what those strategies are going to be. But once you're clear on the goal, it's much easier to decide how you're going to achieve it. And so once again, go through each of the goals and then say, well, how am I going to do that? How am I going to achieve that? And then write down the strategies. And you might have one strategy, you might have 10 strategies, doesn't matter. Just get them written down because then once you've got them written down, then what you can do is you can set KPIs so you can track and measure your progress over time. So, for example, if one of your KPIs is, you know, I don't know, a Google reviews, for example, might be something that you want to get more of on your Google My Business listing, and you might may have a, a, a bricks and mortar business like a shop front, one of your KPIs might be how many reviews per purchases uh, are we getting so maybe per 100 purchases you might want to get 10 reviews for example right so you can set a kpi that indicates how well you're going the other thing you want to do is go right if i want uh, another say 
a thousand subscribers or a thousand page likes in the next three months. Well, then you can break that down as to how many per day do I need to get to achieve that target. And that way you can really monitor it on a daily basis. So that's probably the best way. I don't know if you've ever tried to lose weight. I've, I've been coached uh, to lose a lot. Of, I lost 30 something kilos and my weight loss coach made me check in every day on the scales. I did weigh myself in and check in every day. And it was that, and, and that habit alone of checking that number every day was what really kept me on track. So the same thing applies with pretty much anything in life. You want to make sure that every day you have some sort of indicator, some measurement that allows you to be able to check whether or not you're actually on track. Very important. Um, the final thing, and this is something that so many people miss when it comes to social media strategy, is actually defining all the res- roles and responsibilities and then assigning them to somebody in your team. Now, if you're the only person in your team, I would suggest you work out how to outsource some of these things because you're going to become real busy doing it all yourself. Uh, When it comes to social media, uh, this YouTube channel, for example, is a classic example. I record the videos, uh, but I don't upload the videos. I don't optimize the videos. You know, so, you know, you want to think about who else in your team can do those roles and make sure that you know you're not trying to do everything yourself because if you try and do all the work yourself, you probably won't get it all done. Uh, there's more to it than a lot of people realise when it comes to running successful social media. Um, you know, my Facebook, my Instagram, my LinkedIn—they're all run by my social media manager. Uh, yes, yeah, so I get on there from time to time and put something on my myself. But you want to have a team member. Uh, that knows what the strategy is and you've shared that KPI with them and say, here's what I want you to achieve. Uh, So really get clear on what the roles and responsibilities are and then delegate it to somebody and make them responsible for getting it done. All right, hopefully that's helped you really get your head around building a successful social media marketing plan. If you've enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Show us your love by hitting that like button. Make sure you have subscribed or you might miss out on future content. Until next time, I hope you have a profitable day. See ya.